Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Black Oni Podcast, episode four. I'm your host, Jay Blaze 6 Today, I'm joined by four other people Mr. Yarger, your homie D, Reed, and the 1KK. Sadly, a lot of the footage that we record today was not saved due to unexpected situations, Skype crashing on us three times in a row. But other than that, there's a lot of great content here for you guys, so stick around. I think this one's only like 45 minutes, so it's not really that long. Again, a lot of the footage that we had from before was lost, like almost an hour worth of footage, so I'm really upset about that. Skype, if you are listening, if you are seeing this, know that you have issues with your software. Um, I'm paying for premium right now, and it's not been a premium experience, so I'm not very happy with that. You guys are missing out on the Salt Snake impersonations that I had our guests doing. Uh, we talked a little bit about uh, games that we played that were just awful that we paid money for. Like the first game we bought that was awful. Shout out to JC Mac 120 for that one. Um, yeah, it, today's just been crazy. I can't believe it has shut down on me three times in a row. You will see it because there will be missing information. You have no idea what the hell we were talking about. So. Uh, I think from now on, we try to do something a little bit different. Uh, you're going to see people kind of popping up in and out of frames and stuff like that. And at some point, I'm not even in one of them. So I think five people is just too much for Skype to handle properly. Um, I understand, I guess, that you guys are still working out the, the kinks, but Skype has been around for like at least three years. So this should be figured out by now. And the fact that the Xbox One is going to be using Skype integration within its operating system has me very worried because Skype does not work properly, ever. So, uh, take what you want out of that. I hope you enjoy the show. Next week will be post E3. You guys will be seeing a video of my reflections before that. Uh, yeah, let's get to it. Yeah, what happened? Yeah. I'm going to tell you what happened. Skype decided it was going to fucking... Ah, Skype! <laughs> Yo, Will, it's just a still frame. Yeah, I can see yeah. everything for you. I don't, I don't... What the... What the fuck? I have no clue what happened. Skype crashed on me. It just decided it wanted to give up. That was it. That was basically... How come Will's lips aren't moving? <laughs> Wait, can you, can you actually see a picture of me? Yeah, it's just a, yeah. a photo of your head. Yeah, it's your profile picture. All right. All right. We're going to try something here. All right, it's not working. I'm going to call you guys back. All right. Good. All right, I can oh. press the record button again now. Sorry, everyone at home. Skype decided to crash, so I don't actually even know if the first part of what we were doing is even recorded. So, nice. on that note, I am going... What were we talking about? What was the last thing we were saying? Solid we Snake. Solid Snake, and Solid snake impersonation. All right. And then it cut out. We broke the internet because it's all fake. <laughs> we broke the internet. <laughs> yeah, I said I'd go swallow some gravel, give it a tent. But that's the best I'll be able to do. Yeah. I'm, I'm not mad at that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, next on our agenda, well, I'll talk about, I guess, the game that I'm playing now. Um, I'm playing Resident Evil Revelations. Um, the HD one? Yeah, playing it on Oh, PS3. yeah, of course, you don't have it on a Nintendo system, so you wouldn't have the original one. Yeah, not yet. I don't have any Nintendo system yet. Um, but so far... Do you, do you actually, like, realistically, though, do you plan to get a Nintendo system? You sound like one of the big Nintendo haters. I'm not a Nintendo hater. My first my <laughs> first home system that I had was the Super Nintendo. The, the, the Sega Genesis, I think, stayed with my grandmother's house. So I used to have a Super Nintendo, but I just haven't had a console since then. Mm. So right. it's not that I hate Nintendo. I think I just... I haven't had as much incentive to get a Nintendo system and have that be my main system. And, like, right now, I I could afford to have, like, several systems, but I'd be pretty broke. <laughs> mm. I wouldn't have much money for most else. So, like, as soon as a PlayStation came along, I was just, like, done. So, um, I mean, if I won a Wii U, for example, or if I was given a Wii U, I would play it. But... <laughs> You'd be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> But I would have one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's important. There were two good games for it. <laughs> Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter, and uh, yeah. Fire Emblem, right? right? And there's so many great. Yeah, I know Fire Emblem yet. Oh, for it too. You said what? 
There's so many great non-Nintendo games in development for it, too, right now. So many. There's, uh... There's... Bayonetta 2. Bayonetta is, one, 2. is Wonderful 101 Nintendo, or no? I don't know. I don't know. That one looks really good. But I will say, I, I love Bayonetta 1. And I'm really sad that Bayonetta 2 isn't coming to PS4 or the Xbox One. Give it time, it will. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just like the new Rayman. It'll, it may switch over. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Wonderful One. Wonderful 101, I think it was. Oh, same thing. <laughs> yeah, it's coming out on Wii U. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So, moving on to the next time. I got derailed because the fucking Skype was just like, fuck you, Jay, fuck you. <laughs> so, I already told you guys earlier what I'm I'm what my new fascination in terms of like most anticipated games coming out of E3 or throughout the year. Um, of course, The Last of Us is coming out next week, and I am I'm ready for that. I'm so ready. But Destiny is like my big hitter right now. I'm really psyched for Destiny. I mm-hmm. I can't be more excited for this if I even try. Like, I loved Halo, the Halo series, so much, and like go, choosing not to get a 360 was hard because of that but with this Bungie I know does, does a really good job of making games so I have utter confidence that this game is going to be an amazing but I want to see the gameplay I want to see the gunplay I want to see how this all goes because you can customize your different armors you can make your character look completely different you can um, I guess you can hijack enemy vehicles kind of like you could in other games it has a so cool yeah it's cool it's, it's cool <laughs> It, is, it has like a um, a system, a multiplayer system where it's like a very drop in, drop out. Like people are retroactively within the world without it being like an MMO. So it's kind of hard to explain, but that's the way that they said it. It's like it's kind of like an MMO, but it's not really. Um, it's like a living world or something. Yeah, said. it's a living yeah. world that people go in and out of without yeah. interfering with the game. Um, it kind of reminds me of how they were describing like the Elder Scrolls Online that they're working on, where like you're in your own world and people can join, but. Mm-hmm. They have to essentially like make the same story decisions as you to sort of like hmm. stay with you. That's interesting. So they like have to end up at the same place. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Elder Scrolls Online is also going to be a great game. I hope. I hope so. I hope it's going to be great. Yeah. It sounds like it's going to be great. What What are you guys thinking in terms of like your most anticipated games? Where Where are your brains at here? Pokemon X and Y. Yeah, basically. <laughs> man, we got the okay. Nintendo guys up in here, man. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I mean, Elder Scrolls Online, I'm a big fan of the Elder Scrolls series since really Oblivion. I think I played a bit of Daggerfall when I was way too young for it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Pokemon X and Y right now look like, after seeing the black and white, how they went really hard with uh, trying to make the story kind of exciting. Mm. I'm hoping Pokemon X and Y will be more than a game that's about Pokemon and more of a game that's like kind of like entrances you with the story as well. That's pretty legit. Yeah. Mm. I haven't played a Pokemon game since Gold and Silver. Uh, I haven't played since Red. Red was good. What was the first one you got? Did you get blue or red? Red. Blue. 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 <laughs> I think I got yellow. Yellow. Yellow yeah, was awesome. I remember something tragic happened to me when I played yellow, though. Um, so, I don't, I don't even know exactly what happened. I just remember turning on my Game Boy Advance one day, or Game Boy Color. I don't remember which one it was at the time. And just, yeah. like, everything was gone. Like, I had, I had literally 150, like, there was 151 you can get. And I was, mm-hmm. like, on my last one of getting. And I was like, alright, I'm gonna go get this one tomorrow. And, like, it was just like, nope, everything's gone. Sorry. Oh, Shit happens. That sucks. I was just like, yeah. that sucks. I, I, I tried. I was like, you know what? It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. I'll just start over. And, like, I started over. I was like, I can't do it. Fuck this. I, can't do it. <laughs> I, I just can't. So, thank God for cloud backups now, because that's kind of a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. Not the Nintendo. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Nintendo is just sort of embracing the idea that internet is a thing that should be in games right now. Mm-hmm. So. And it's totally a thing. Um, like, even in Animal Crossing, you have to, like, go and activate internet while you're online and tell, tell it that you want people to come and join you, for people yeah. to be able to even see you and come and join you. Um, ah. they're, not, they're not the most, like, technology savvy when it comes to anything internet-related. Or anything, period. 
I'm not gonna go that far. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they make good games. They do. They do make mm. good games. Hey, I mean, good, good news, guys. Oh. I think it did record the other. Wait. Wait. It might have recorded that other shit. I don't know. We'll find out. Ah, <laughs> uh, so depressing. Okay. It sucks. Yeah, it's stupid. Hey, Skype, fix your shit. <laughs> anyway. That's out again. <laughs> about to just rage. It's like, you know what? You, you want to bitch now? It's going to make everyone of your... I've been trying so hard for like the last three podcasts, and <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I'm just not going to help you anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's over. You're so unappreciative. I can't do this anymore. It's over with you and Skype. But the yeah. thing about Nintendo and internet, I feel like... Uh, a lot of the games or the titles released by Nintendo don't really require a focus on multiplayer uh, elements, you know? Yeah. yeah, a lot of their games. So that that might be why they're kind of, like, lacking in the 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 multiplayer uh, mm-hmm. environment. Is Wii Sports people. online? No. no. Why is that a thing? Why? Why? Well, well, why, why would it be? you got to ask that question first. Well, if you're a lonely gamer, that makes a lot of sense. I think it would be even lonelier if it was online multiplayer because it would be still you staying there without anyone near you. You're conversing with no one. Nintendo yeah. hasn't really, except for like Wii Speak back in the day and the, the current things they have for the Wii U controller, they haven't really refined talking to people online. So that would so be a computer and you'd never know the difference. Well... See, if they had a voice chat implementation, then that wouldn't be a problem, you know, but mm-hmm. I guess that's asking too much. Asking way too much, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, are you guys uh, aware of State of Decay? This game called State of Decay? Yeah, yeah I, uh, I was just playing the demo last really? night. So what do yeah, you think about it? Yeah, it's not too it? shag. It's, it's big. It's really big. And, uh, that's what you said. For... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, for like an arcade game, I was really surprised. But it, it's kind of clunky, but mm. it looks like it could have a lot of really cool mechanics. Mm-hmm. I didn't get into it too much. I only got like an hour demo, but it, it was cool. Yeah, I've been reading up about it uh, for a while, and I've been. It's so hard coming from like that Walking Dead travesty of a game, um, that Survival Instinct one. Like, oh. the news of this game came to me around that time, and I was just like, I, I'm done. I am done with this zombie shit right now. Like, mm. I, I can't do it anymore. And it was like, no, this actually might be a good game. I was like, no, fuck you guys. You guys said that about Survival <laughs> Instinct, and that was a piece of shit. Yeah, State of Decay, it's pretty cool. If you get a chance, check it out. Yeah. And Xbox. <laughs> oh. Wait, it's on PC too, though, right? Maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not a PC gamer, so... Yeah, I'm not yet, but I could be. I mean, my computer is way powerful enough to do it. I just don't play games on it, which is kind of silly, but... Powerful enough for games, not enough for Skype. (laughs) Clearly (laughs) not. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so... um, I think I talked to some of you about this a little bit, but there's a game called Warframe that's in its beta phases right now. Um, I don't know... Say it again? I saw the trailer for that. It's looking pretty dope. It looks legit. It, it looks, looks really, really legit. legit. So yeah. Warframe, Planet Side 2, and DC Universe Online are all making their way to PS4. Um, Warframe is supposed to be a launch title for PS4, and it's going to be free to play, as well as Planet Side 2 and DC Universe. How do you guys feel about not only the, the games that they announced that are going to be part of the PlayStation family, um, but about free to play in general? Like, Do you think this is something that Sony should only focus on, or do you think, do you think it should be something that Microsoft should kind of dip into a little bit, or maybe even, you know, Nintendo. I really hate free-to-play. Really? Yeah, it's a temporary game. They're almost all server-based, where once the servers are down, that's the end of the game. Like, everything you invested in it is totally gone. They're fun if you just do it recreationally, but if it's a game like... uh, I'm trying to think of a free-to-play that... Uh, like DC Universe, you can pour hours of time into that. You can spend... The game itself is free, but from what I remember, the expansions are still... They cost money. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just... That that would kill me if I put all that time into it, and then I just lost all of it when they decided, okay, we're not going to... They City of Heroes it. Hmm. Well, here's the thing about that, though. I think 
DC Universe has been around since uh, 2010, maybe? I need to look that up before I start splurting out information. Because I remember, I, think that's right. I remember pre-ordering it, and it came out in January or February, and I was like, "Oh my god, this is so cool!" Like I paid money for it, and then like later on, it's like, "Oh, now we're free to play." I was like, "Oh, that's cool." Yeah, it's been out for a while because I was working. I was working at Apple when it came out. So. Yeah, it came out in 2011. So this is, I mean, I think January. Yep, January 2011. It's been out for a while now, so it's like 2013 now. They're planning on porting it over to PlayStation 4, so people who have bought content for it will be able to bring that over to the PS4, which I think is really smart and, and really like amazing. Because, like, I mean, if you think about it, they're not really doing that much from the PC version, I guess. Um, but they're still offering more content for you at launch for the PlayStation 4, and I think that's a brilliant idea. Um, something to, to allow you to keep playing, keep being excited about the PlayStation, but... I don't know. What do you? What I I like the idea of free to play. I think it's cool. Um, I mean, like you said, there's certain things about like the server. Uh, if the server goes down or if the server doesn't work anymore, you can't do shit about it. That's kind of a pain in the ass. But it's kind of like that for most other games too that are like that are based on a server of some type. So like, I'm trying to think of a game, at least a console game. Uh, Defiance. <laughs> Defiance is server based. Okay. All right. That just came out though, didn't it? Yeah. So, I mean, that same thing could happen with that. I mean, that's not a free-to-play game. You still have to pay for that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's, it's the same thing, except it's in a model where it's, it's, you don't have to pay anything. There's no barrier of entry in terms of, like, getting it. And if you want, like, the, the great thing about that, I think, is uh, for a lot of gamers, like, most of us, for the most part, like, we don't have as much time to sink into games anymore because we have, like, jobs and shit. So the idea of being able to be like, hey, like, I, I worked hard for the money that I have now, like, Instead of spending, you know, this many hours to get this sword, I should just, you know, spend two dollars to get the sword, and I'll, that's fine. Like, I think that's a really smart way of doing things because, like, if you have the time, you can just put the time into it and getting that. But if you have the money, you can just put the money into that, and you can still earn it either way. So uh, it's kind of a win-win. I mean, if you really like the game, putting money into it takes away from the play experience. I think my only co- wait, Go hold ahead. on a second. My only <laughs> <laughs> wait. <laughs> My only concern about the free to play is uh, moving to PS4 is how many games that people have already been enjoying and continue to enjoy on their PC will move to that platform because I've heard that the PS4 is like phenomenal to develop for, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. like how many of like those really fun Nexon Korean games, you think that they're going to jump into the PS4 market too? Like, or oh, imagine Maple Story on your PlayStation. That'd be like, kind of cool. Think, think of the people that would play that though, you know? Right. So, and then does that really like just take an axe to the PC market? That's 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 where I'm going with it. Hmm. That's a good question. I think I think that could definitely take an axe to the PC market. But when it comes to PC, I mean, I know the PC a- market's already pretty niche. Like, there's a very small percentage of people that mm-hmm. play, you know, games that you have to go out and buy on a PC, mm-hmm. uh, a console. So I don't know how much of an impact it could possibly have. Mm-hmm. Um, other than maybe casual gamers will play more on the PS4, but yeah, this is true. I think I think PC gaming is is like it's really cool. Like I wish I kind of invested a little bit more into it in a way, but at the same time, I feel like keeping up with the upgrades it, it becomes an addiction. Like it becomes something that you start doing because you want to have the latest and greatest of everything. Whereas with the consoles, you don't really have that pressure of having the latest and greatest version of it because it's all a unified experience. So. I think the great thing is developers can can put whatever they want into their game because they know what they have to work with. So they don't have to worry about hardware limitations from other people who don't have like an upgraded version of blah, blah, blah. And... Is this dude munching? <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I, I don't know. I'm still kind of torn on the idea of, of having like a PC because... I would get a PS4, and then maybe if I wanted to have something else, it'd be between like a, the Steam Box, whenever that's coming, or maybe a Wii U, because that's a very different experience than what you would get, and then or maybe a PC. Um, but I, I don't know. I mean, do you guys plan on getting two consoles or doing two ways of gaming, like at home, or probably I'm just probably one? Gonna, I'm probably gonna get two consoles. Probably gonna get the PS4 and the Wii U, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking the yeah. same thing, but I'm probably going to wait a while before I get a Wii U. Probably going to wait a little while for that. 
We already yeah. have like all the current stuff, so the only thing I'm waiting for is just the, the PS4. I'm not even interested in the Xbox One after this whole like. <laughs> yeah, so they're talking. I'm not a big Xbox person to begin with. My girlfriend's mm. a huge Xbox fan. Mm. Like she's the only reason we have one. But mm. the PlayStation Four, it's like an, it's a no contest thing. I just want to move on to the next thing because you know you're going to see HD ports of everything that they had on PlayStation Three, or not HD, but like better ports yeah. of what they had on PS3. Yeah, I can totally see that. So I'm not too upset about losing all the stuff if I sell my PlayStation Three. I, I downloaded like one game. It was like every Mega Man game, and then like one. <laughs> it was Warriors Orochi Three. Nice. It was like the only game I ever downloaded. <laughs> oh, I'm wondering though, because they they did mention that Gaikai was going to allow them to do a lot of backwards compatibility stuff. Do you think that the backwards compatibility is going to come in the form of like a PlayStation Plus subscription type of thing, or do you think you'll have to rebuy everything, or do you think there's a way that you can like? Uh, insert the disc of the game that you have and then it'll recognize the information and then like send information to the cloud and allow you to access that game on PS3 or PS4 or so. I think there will be no backwards compatibility with hardware. I mean, yeah. uh, software, like actual physical software. Mm. But what Nintendo was doing is if you have a game on the Wii, you have to pay $1.99 to have access to it on the Wii U. You can still access it through the Wii emulation system in the Wii U, but mm. to actually play it organically on the Wii U and take use of the uh, the control pad thing to play the game, mm. you have to pay $1.99 to convert it. And that's kind of what everyone is rumoring about PlayStation. Anything you've downloaded, you can pay a fee to import it into your system. Because apparently this, despite it costing $1.99 or a dollar, whatever it is, it's different for each game. Mm. Nintendo is still making a good amount of sales on the conversion. And that's not so bad if you think about it. Like $1.99 to, to port it over to your next system, that's... If they could do that, that, I wouldn't complain. But what if the game costs you $1.99? Well, yeah. that doesn't happen on PlayStation. <laughs> this is like the couple of the minis or whatever, like some of the uh, PS1 titles, I had sales. And it's like, why would I pay twice for this game? I guess. Like uh, Monster Boy in, or Wonder whatever in Monster World. It's a weird TurboGrafx game. I, I have no idea what that is. I'm going to look that up. <laughs> Turbo Man Boy. It's like something boy in Monster World. It's like either Turbo Graphics or PC Engine. I'm gonna see if I can. Uh, <laughs> none of this looks like it's it has anything to do with the video game. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna show you what came up on my screen. This is kind of funny. It's totally irrelevant to anything ever. As state logo. I found the Wonder uh, Wonder Boy in Monster World for the Genesis. Oh, yeah, that's it. Uh, <laughs> there's yeah, a, a, like... a different version of it that they have for the Wii U. I mean, the Wii that you can download. Wonder Boy. That Boy is the Genesis okay. one. Okay. I see. What, what the fuck is, is that? I, that's what I said. <laughs> no idea what that is. Some bullshit. That's what it is. It's ridiculous. <laughs> that's talent right there, though. So wait, you have to pay one ninety nine for <laughs> these older games? They haven't really like it's been the Super Nintendo games. The only two that have been like ones that I had to personally deal with have been Mario World and Kirby Superstar. Yeah. To actually import those, it was uh, I think it was a dollar fifty or a dollar ninety nine to what have you- access to them on the gamepad and to play it directly from the Wii U without going into the Wii's emulation. Oh, okay. But you so, have to have it on your system. Like you had to have transferred it, because there's no the, buy history for the Nintendo Shop. Uh, from the disc? No, no. It's from the uh, the actual like your download history for the Wii. You when yeah. you transferred it to your system. Hopefully, if if you did, um, if not, you're screwed. But because yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why. Like you know, they have Xbox Shop accounts. They have. PlayStation store accounts, like you can link those and they yeah. have your history and you can redownload. Nintendo yeah. doesn't have that. Oh, oh, what? It's all based on system, like serial numbers. That's. Like you need to physically transfer it from one system to another to be able to access previous. That's technology. so dumb! It is, and that's. Oh, no! Because, <laughs> like, I was mm-hmm. just thinking about the. the I, I was just thinking, like, when you said that, I was like, oh my god, that's so right. Like, they have a backlog, they have an archive of everything that you've downloaded. So, like, I can just re-download anything that I've downloaded ever since having a PS3. So, like, does Xbox have something like that? I believe so. Okay. So yeah. That's good. 
Um, wow, that's so crazy though. I think yeah, you guys what you were saying before about like Microsoft kind of being behind on the the internet integration thing. I mean, I think that's going to really be a problem going down the road, like unless they address it. Because like everything's moving towards a cloud, like everything is is becoming all integrated with the internet. Like the internet is Skynet. Basically, <laughs> and speaking of, like just I, I want to segue to the next topic a little bit. Um, they just like confirmed basically everything that everyone was speculating about the Xbox One's like system of always being online. Like they were just like, oh no, it doesn't have to always be online. It just has to check in just, every just twenty-four once hours. Just once every hours. Like mm -hmm. that is almost the same thing yeah and like what about people who like legitimately do not have internet right now or like who legitimately are like they're moving so they have to cancel their subscription or whatever and like they're going to move out of state they can't play their games at all don't buy ps4s yeah just buy i think we lost dan mm. dan. Dan. Oh, dan. your homie d are you there oh that's it that's a sad story right there. He'll be back. Don't worry, guys. We'll uh, we'll keep this moving so we don't, don't keep you guys too much longer. Wait, wait. He's almost back. He's almost back. Uh, there hey. he is. What's up? <laughs> What's up, bro? Skype, Skype quit unexpectedly. Hey, like I said, <laughs> Skype, get on your shit. Yeah. I don't know what the hell happened. It just, it just froze and then deleted me. <laughs> oh. Fuck you, Dan. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was paying attention. The computer didn't like that, though. The computer heard Skynet and it was like, it's on to us. Shut it off. <laughs> <laughs> like, shit. Nice. My bad. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm not too excited about that. I mean, I'm already pretty much in the mindset that I'm not going to be getting a, a the X-Bone anytime soon. Maybe I'll get it when it's on discount or something, but I'm, I'm just not interested in getting it right now. Um, yeah. And they I'm a go I'm a huge Xbox fan. Mm -hmm. Like I mean I have like a whole wall over here just dedicated to all my games and stuff and it's, I'm I'm jumping shit. It's yeah. pretty bad. <laughs> Wait, do you have a PS4 right now? PS3. Not a four, but I have PS3, a three. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I got one. Nice. It's actually I'm kinda using that for my two year plan, but more like a one year plan because mm -hmm. I focus so much on that. 360. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna go through, play all the PS3 exclusives I miss, let the bugs mm -hmm. get worked out in new consoles. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, within a couple months or a year, we'll pick up a PS4. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Um, if I wasn't so ridiculously excited about the PS4, I would just wait a little while and then make sure, like all the, like you said, all the bugs are gone and all the everything's ready to go. But I, I can't. I just can't. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a disservice to myself as a Sony guy to just be like, yeah, no, just wait. No, oh, no, fuck that. My, I got the PS3 when it, like, the Christmas, like, the day after Christmas of 2006, that's when I got my PS3. And I was just, like, so excited. But my, that one did die on me, though. So um, I'm hoping this next gen is a little bit more reliable because that's kind of important. Yeah, everybody says about, like, 360s failing. And it's, mm -hmm. I've had mine since they were released. It's really? It's still going. Yeah. That's awesome. The last oh, guy, uh, I had. I actually, I upgraded right. to a slim, just because my other one, the hard drive was so small. Mm -hmm. So I just upgraded for the the space. But my other one still works. He gave it to my buddy. He plays nice. it. That's pretty cool. I'm glad yeah, to hear an so. original Xbox out there is still working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. it's the chosen one. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> the Xbox chosen one. That's the one <laughs> we should go with next time. Oh uh, yeah, that's next gen Xbox. So. With you being more of an Xbox guy, I think I did ask you this question before. We talked about it a little bit, but now we're on the interwebs. Um, how how does the name make you feel? It sucks. It's horrible. <laughs> I mean, PlayStation did the PlayStation 1 10 years ago. So why is <laughs> understand why Microsoft's waiting like three generations to release the one? Like, I understand the concept of the all-in-one console, mm -hmm. but... I thought the Xbox Infinity was a much better choice. Uh, that was that's the obvious choice. I think it would have been so yeah. much easier to just do that. Yeah, I didn't want to see like Xbox Seven Twenty because I just that sounds dumb. Yeah, mm -hmm. but here's but, the thing, though: <laughs> if you if you do a three sixty, right, you come back to one. 
Yeah. See? <laughs> See? <laughs> wow. They were thinking of something to, there. They had you come something. Back to, you come back to zero, not one. Yeah, it'd be the <laughs> oh, Xbox that's right. zero. <laughs> you come back to zero, and then you move, I guess, a, a baby step forward. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I tried. <laughs> I, I tried something here. <laughs> That's funny though. I like that. Yeah, I saw that. Um, I'll put a link down here. Francis, uh, he's a, he's a character. He's, I I can't remember what his real name is, but he's a character who just nerd rages about things, and he's pretty hilarious. Boogie, was, yeah, Boogie Night. Yeah, he's so yeah. great. And he was like, if you think about it, you do a three sixty and you come back to one. I was like, oh my god, <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, Max Scoville, he was like, "Yeah, yeah, think about it. If it's, if it's, uh, what did he say? He said something about like the 360, and then like 360, it would be infinity because of two circles. The three, I don't know, like it's 180, then 180, and three, I don't know. There was some correlation there. I'll find a link somewhere eventually. But... <clears throat> Basically, they're saying Microsoft messed up either way. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, they done goofed." Yeah, but I will say this, though. I have to give them credit for their controller because that shit looks kind of sexy. I love the controller. I think that controller is going to be amazing. Yeah. I just I love being able to replace the batteries, whether they're, like, the rechargeable packs or whatever. Because, mm-hmm. like, uh, the Wii U controller, PlayStation 3 controller, you get the battery pack built in. If it breaks, you're, you're fucked. There's nothing you can do. The good thing is I've never had any issue with, with battery stuff. Like, my batteries still last pretty long on all my controllers. I just don't charge them enough because I, I just don't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so far all mine have held, held – yeah, they've held up pretty well. But, you know, if something does happen, you're out, what, 50, 60 bucks for a new controller? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And no one is moving on my screen right now. I'm assuming Skype is going to decide to quit on me. So Uh-oh. Let me, uh, let, me, let me press the, the stop recording for a second. I just, I don't understand. Why is this happening? I don't know. <laughs> so much. Like, if it used the cloud, it would still be, uh, <laughs> still be on. So, yeah, it, fro- it froze it will go like this. <laughs> yeah, so this is, this is another good point to make about the whole Skype calling while playing games on your, your Xbox One. Yeah, Skype it's, doesn't work. It's, it doesn't work. Skype doesn't work. I don't even know if all the shit that we just did for like 40 minutes is even recorded. Want to know why? <laughs> exactly. Wow. Because <laughs> <laughs> Skype doesn't want to fucking work. And I think Kevin can't even connect to us right now. <laughs> he probably ran away to play Animal Crossing. <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> I'm done. Oh my god. I, I think this is the sign that we have to close the show. Oh, here's there Kevin. he is. There he so, is. All right. Skype. I saw an opportunity to get up and use the restroom, so I took it. Nice. Oh, damn. Nice. Smart I man. Still have to pee. <laughs> <laughs> so, everyone, thank you guys for coming out for this crazy day. Oh my god. I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> I can't wait to see your bad editing skills here. I'm going yeah. to figure something out. I'm just going to need to be pro. <laughs> it's gonna be brutal. Uh, Snake, help us! <laughs> um, everyone at home, thank you guys for tuning in. Hopefully, this isn't gonna be like a twenty-minute show. You'll actually get to see everything that happened leading up to now. Um, our sessions got cut out because Skype crashed like three times during the course of our podcast. So, I apologize if that happened. We have five people today again. This is an exciting thing that we have going on. We'll have specials like this probably again, maybe. Um, there will be a post-E3 edition of the podcast that will happen probably that Sunday as well. Um, I will should, have... We should do a midweek E3. Yeah? You think I should do yeah. a podcast, or should it just be kind of a video reflection? However you want, man. We'll do something. <laughs> I'll do something. This is a special week, so we'll... You should do definitely do a mid I think you should do a video reflection because you can do that immediately and then follow it up with a podcast. That's probably what I was thinking of doing. Yeah, that would work too. Wait, what are those numbers you guys are sending me? Those are our friend codes. Oh, right. <laughs> Nintendo, you know, is great with internet and makes it so you need a random many-digit code to be able to friend people. Mm-hmm. Yep. Nintendo, you had one job. One <laughs> job. Don't fuck up. Ah. <laughs> uh. 
anyway, thank you guys. If you guys at home liked what you saw today, press the like button and subscribe. Of course, there will be more content, lots of fun stuff on the way, some more art stuff and more video game stuff, maybe some more rants, probably a Skype rant at some point. And we can start streaming gameplay stuff. Yeah. yeah. Whenever you and I have the same game that we can play. Oh my god, well, so how, where are your games? What happened to all your games? I own like Yakuza 4, Yakuza 3, uh, Dragon Song with Dark Arisen. I have, I have Borderlands 2 somewhere. We can play Borderlands. <laughs> yeah, we can play Borderlands. I'm supposed to play some Borderlands and put that on the channel so people can see some gameplay footage of me being a fool. <laughs> that box is amazing. The Elgato, right? Yeah, it is fantastic. Did you get it from Amazon? Yeah. Yeah, I'm totally getting one now. It was on sale, and I had, like, extra Amazon credit from some books I traded in, so it didn't really cost me anything. It was awesome. That's I also crazy. bought this thing, because this was on super sale, too. This big-ass microphone. What? That is oh, massive. Wow. Dude, That's I cool. need one of those. Is that a Yeti? Beavers. Yeah, it's a Yeti. It's a Yeti. We sold it, it at like the Apple Store. It was, like, 50 bucks, because it was one something, like, 170 marked down to 70 Nine, yep. then they had like a twenty percent off of all audio and video equipment. Nice, nice. Oh. I was on for the win, shit. I stacked yeah. that shit. <laughs> I will. I I think I have to just make the plunge and get the El- Elgato now because um, we don't know if Microsoft or Sony is going to reveal how much content you can save and like if you can edit any of that. So mm-hmm. I, I think I need to get a game capture thing anyway. I just throw it. Yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for joining in on the conversation again. Uh, I'll stop recording now. The Wii? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that was, it was, that was a bad decision on their part to even decide to port that over. And I think that's one of the reasons why EA was just like, you know what? Just no. No. Oh, no well, they, they had to do so. some kind of a filler because right now they don't have anything. Yeah. That's what... My biggest hope for E3 is a Fatal Frame for the Wii U. That would cool. be amazing with that controller. You know? That'd be very cool, actually. You're looking it at the TV, you have right? that up here, and all of a sudden some shit's right there in your face. Like literally, it's in your face because you're holding it. Right. That would be awesome. I agree. That'd be very cool. I don't know if they'd ever do it. Probably not. I think Nintendo has the rights to it though, because yeah, because they had Book of uh, Spirit Book or whatever, Spirit Camera. Yeah. I think yeah, Fatal, Fra- I heard about that. Fatal Frame Three was a Wii exclusive over in Japan, I believe. Hmm. They um, what was the game that came out that we released on uh, I think PlayStation and Xbox? Um, it took play- t- Siren. That was it. Is anyone's town open right now? Um, my <laughs> town is not open. I will go open it. Oh well, I just opened my town. So. Okay, I'll, I'll head to your town because I need your fruit. I'll bring a cherry for you. Sweet, thanks. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, <laughs> pop it, Dan. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Fuck both of you guys. <laughs> Man, this is so gay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> game's awesome. Dude, the my game wife, is fantastic. Like, the best part of that game was playing with my wife and, like, on the Wii, just logging in and digging holes all around her house so she couldn't leave. Like chopping down our trees. <laughs> wow. <That's awful. laughs> but awesome. I think every person I've ever dated has played Animal Crossing since the game has come out. Every single person I've ever been with has been a fan of the series. So it's been really easy to feed my addiction of having to play like a certain amount of hours per day. Hey, babe, want to play some Animal Crossing? <clears throat> and it also masks the fact that it's such a, a, a pansy-esque game. <laughs> <laughs> Not to hate on the game, I, I love the game, mm-hmm. but it, it makes it a little easier to hide. Yeah. <laughs> I'm playing with my girl, it's fine, it's fine. People <laughs> tend to judge you less. <laughs> I was playing Resident Evil with my girl uh, the other day, we were playing through raid mode, and she was like schooling me because she had been playing it for so much. She's like, stay back. Don't worry about it. If you don't get hit through this whole section, you'll get something. I was like, okay, fine. I've got a badass over here. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what happened. She just like ran through with a magnum. She's like, poof, poof, poof. It's like, why am I here? <laughs> yeah, that new Resident Evil looked awesome. My it's... wife was playing that last week. And mm-hmm. It just it seems like such a throwback to the first one. Like Even like yeah. the wallpaper looks like the mansion. Yeah, the there's a lot of backtracking in that game. So I have mm-hmm. I have gripes about it. Less 
so than Resident Evil Five or Six, but there are still some gripes. So I would probably like if I was to give it a review, it would be between like a pass, uh, rent or buy. I would say at least rent. Um, I'm yeah, almost there. Right. Say that again. Okay. Uh, I was telling Dan I'm almost there. All right, I'm oh. connecting. <laughs> Woo! I'm spinning in a circle. <laughs> so I'm gonna, feel, I'm gonna say my uh, my E3 thing again because I think I don't know what got cut off in recording. I'm actually recording again now because I figured the more footage I have right now, the better. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. So um, Destiny is the is the big game I'm waiting for E3. Um, everyone at home, I'm sure you guys are really excited about it and waiting for it. I'll put a link in the description down below. But yeah, well, yeah. Hey. E3, I, I want to see that Titanfall game. Like, I'm not getting the Xbox Xbox One, but I just want to see it. I'm really excited to see what that's going to be like. I want to see it, too. Is that, uh, that's really the game I'm most hopeful for. I don't know if you're recording it, but Fatal Frame for the Wii U. Mm. I'm hopeful for that one, too, though. That sounds pretty cool. Dan, I want to see Dan totally froze. Yeah, he's... Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. Oh, what? oh, yeah, no. Skype is totally he, having issues right now. They are not froze. ready for Xbox One anything. He froze in like the praise Jesus mode. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> said someone's here. They're oh, man. Right I, now. I can only imagine what kind of crap is going to go down. With, if we're having issues on a platform that Skype was designed for. Yeah. I, I'm just hope, I'm, I'm honestly hopeful that there won't be any major hiccups with our, our next console releases. I just Met you know? Oh, look at you. Oh yeah, Megado, yeah. <laughs> well, wait, what's that from? It's from the Bible. It's the place where the end of the world takes place. Oh, mine's Marsh <laughs> from Final Fantasy VI. Nice. Wait, oh, it's, yeah, it's apparently hot. I'm here. like so unoriginal when I name places. I'm always like Chris City. <laughs> <laughs> My town. <laughs> My town default one. <laughs> it's also from a. Uh, if you play uh, the Die Hack series, it's the name of Kubia's Inferno Attack. It's fire move. Hmm. I played Die Hack yeah. before. Really? Yeah. Did you Did you play all seven games? Hell no! I, I, I didn't I play had, all of them. I played I played Die Hack before. I never owned either of them. One of my friends had it, and we played it. He came over to my house, and we're like, "Yeah, video games." Nice. <laughs> uh, Dude, you got the black hamster. Yeah. <laughs> you got I got uh, what's his Gaston, the bunny with a mustache. Nice. Do you have the uh, wolf chick, Whitney? No. Damn. And I got a bear named Teddy. Wait. Oh, that's okay. original. <laughs> so wait, hold on. You're all the way over. Nice tattoo, bro. I didn't see that. Got some yeah. Assassin's Creed going on there. Uh, there you go. Going on. Yeah. Yeah. He's trying to net me. Nice. Like the first. I was trying to talk to you. I love Assassin's Creed too. That was a great game. Here, I'm gonna Doom bury the cherry in your town. Okay. Okay. Where do you want the tree? <laughs> right by the station. I'm sorry, I had to. This is sweet. Uh, <laughs> I don't care what anyone else says. This is awesome. Go put the cherry in the mud. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I wish you guys could see what was going on because we're both dressed kind of weird. Put, yeah. put up your screen. Hold up to the, the screen, camera. yeah. Nice. Cherry tree planted. <laughs> His head's oh. huge. I'm a fucking Charlie yeah. Brown. <laughs> uh, can you see both that? Both of our characters look like lesbians. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Actually. They both have the, the super weird haircuts. Yeah. Oh, that's great. That's Did cool. you already find your ore rock and your money rock today? No, I didn't. Not today. Well, let's I go just... find it. Let's go find it. Oh, Adventure. <laughs> what does you can do here? It's great. <laughs> yeah, just like put this on the end as like a blooper reel or something. I'm shit. totally putting this in. This is all going in. This is awkward. All right, that's cool. No problem. 